Hi Libra, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So today we're going to start with the Psychic Tarot by John Holland and then I'm going to finish with the Dr. Mona Lisa Schultz deck which is Mind Body Makeover. She's a medical intuitive so I intend on using this deck um, to highlight shadow work, um, lessons learned, things you need to work on, and then showing the flip side of it which is what you're going to do with it or what the lesson you've learned is so that we can help move you forward through the end of the month. Um, I like to have music on in the background when I'm shuffling. So right now is Red Hot Chili Peppers Under the Bridge. I have it on the 90s station in case you're wondering for whatever the heck shows up next, right? <laughs> all right. Let's see. Uh, where was it? Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Hmm. I see money. I see a partnership. I see money again. And I see passion. Well, compared to the last reading that I remember doing, this is fabulous. Also, probably the best punchiest starting out right from the gate like reading that I've done today so far. Um, halfway through. So... Um, really strong intro to partnership and money and working together. I like it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I keep thinking about this song and the reference to the day, a day. Forgot about my love under the bridge downtown. I gave my life away. So it's like forgetting about somebody and then turning around and shooting up. I'd rather choose addictions than I would just walking under the bridge and keep continuing to, to pass on and uh, remembering the person I came here with. So it was like leaving somebody behind that shouldn't have been left behind is, is how it sounds. Let's see, let's keep going. Um, okay, so I see money. I see a partnership. Let me show you, there's like I love my home, I have a great job, I go on great vacations, whatever it is, there's like at least one of these things that makes you feel grounded, secure, supportive, um, financially okay, well off, like feeling pretty good about your finances, right? There's um, a partner, someone that gets you, is, is in the mind to go along with whatever it is that you have planned or plan with you. Someone is very, I'm hearing congenial and um, supportive. And then I see money being made. So you working with somebody who is bringing more abundance, like from where you're at now, you're in a really good position. You may or may not see that because Sometimes people don't see their material harvest until they feel the material harvest. Meaning you can have a bank with, you know, a million dollars in it or whatever makes you happy, right? And still be miserable because something's missing on the inside. You know what I mean? What I see that is different here and very, very positive is passion ignited. This is something you love. So I kind of feel like you were already doing pretty good and then you decided to work with somebody which then created more money. But this time you actually loved what you were doing. Um, I also am hearing from Spirit, which you, which you give, you get back tenfold. So this speaks to service. This is like, I volunteer at a soup kitchen and you know, spirit gave me a free year's worth of lobster or somebody, right? Or something. It's like, um, I said somebody because I was picturing like an actual person being like, hey, I got a lobster restaurant, be my friend. <laughs> Cause that's kind of how that stuff works, right? You just manifest these things. But what you're manifesting is 
And I don't want to just say passion is only about, it's not lust. I'll tell you that. That is not on the table. This is a grounded, joyful, fiery buildup of energy that's being put in the right direction towards work and making that effort grow even more. So it's like where you put your money, your time, your energy, your effort is producing even more reward than what you've created already. Um, you have some sort of mental conflict here. And I felt that before I said that because it was already going too well, right? How How is there something you're learning, healing, growing from if I'm only seeing you focused on money and money and partnership and passion? So I want to make sure this is going in the right direction, okay? Um, let's see. Like that it's not, you know, just focused on one in one window is the way spirit's showing me. Like I'm seeing myself walking down the sidewalk and hyper-focused on this one thing in this window and it's like the shiny thing that's like um, on display for to call everybody's attention, but there's something that would be more meaningful to you in the window right next to it that's like more subtle, more humbled, more practical, more but still sexy, fun, exciting, beautiful, but even more perfect for you than whatever it is that thing in the window is that you're more detached from. It's an emotional thing. Um, it's like I want that big one in the window because it's the one that's on display. So I expect that everybody wants that thing, but I don't, I didn't really want it until I thought everybody else wanted that thing or this was how it's supposed to be, or this is what people have told me it's supposed to look like, right? It's too much trying to fit a mold and people pleasing, but like yourself, pleasing yourself, to sh it's like braggart. It's like to show off or to tell someone else you got it first or you know, that kind of thing. Spirit says less of that. Like it's, it's cool to have pride and enjoy some things and be real happy you work for something but not to flaunt it you know what I mean and then but that thing in the other window is just for you it's totally you but that's not something that you can say oh I'm gonna grab it and brag about it to everywhere and this and that I mean you can yes it's a quality thing it looks great it's perfect for you other people admire it it is in the shop window for God's sake right but then you're only focused on that other thing because you think it's you're, it's coming more from ego instead of being connected to your soul, which is the perfect thing that's in the window right in front of you. But you're looking over here. I hope that makes sense. All right. Their universe is pushing you in a particular direction. And in this direction, there's a giant celebration. This is like, pull out the champagne, we're getting married. Um, I see spirits showing me a crack in the champagne bottle or the wine bottle or whatever it is on the, the hull of the ship, the, the bon voyage, the first journey. Um, why are you fighting it? There's mental conflict here with that. Why are you fighting this? What are you what are you thinking? You go go towards go towards what feels good, what makes your soul happy. Something's moving quickly. You must have chosen the right right beginning. It's moving fast. And someone here is making a sacrifice, whether that's you or someone around you who's making this happen or bringing you joy or whatever. Someone's making the sacrifice. They're coming through. They're coming out of the muck and moving into the sunshine. They're making that happen. They're making it happen. Even if they had to come up to receive the rainbow that was ahead, they found a way out of the tar pit. You have a different perspective. I think you're realizing that prosperity comes in multiple ways, which is why I got the material harvest stuff twice in a row, but it's also tied to working with people and 
igniting passion, being joyful, being, um, there's another word for this, soulfully connected, spiritually excited. A spiritual excitement is like being a quadriplegic in a chair and being able to feel immense love for someone or something and truly enjoy it without being able to touch it, feel it, work with it, manipulate it, no control on it. It's simply admiring that thing for what it is, just being, right? But you have to be. If you're the person in that wheelchair, right? You have to just be. There's literally nothing else you can do. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy anything. It's like if, if you were paralyzed, you would have to choose to focus on the freebies, the positivity, what is the real abundance in life because you wouldn't be able to move or do anything. So definitely it wouldn't be lustful because it's not going to be involving your body. It's going to be involving your mind and your heart. Do you understand? So this is a wonderful new beginning you have. If this is what you've chosen, because it looks like it is. Um, let me go back to this material thing. What, why did you show me this twice, Spirit? What is this? And then the song that just came on is Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. In my eyes, indisposed, in disguises no one knows, hides the face, lies the snake, and the sun in my disgrace. Ooh, did you get caught doing something? Boiling heat, summer stench, neath the black, the sky looks dead. Call my name through the cream, and I'll hear you scream again. Black hole sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? Hmm. Definitely uh, an entire life transformation must have taken place. All right, let me go back to this material thing here. All right, well, um, you must have figured out what it is because it's very clear to me what the message is here. It's your happy home. It's the people around you. It's not about the stuff. It's about the family, the friends, the community you create, the, the, the business you created and the people that you have in that community. It's about the people around you and, and treating them right and being treated right in reciprocation. So why is that coming from material? Is that where you put all your effort? Let me see, like your money and your effort. Peace. Three cards just fell out. I meant to pull one. Three fell out. Awareness. This is your self-awareness. This is your ability to slow down, connect to spirit, get your messages, create harmony, listen to messages, take advice, be humbled. No ego here, which is great because money is normally tied to ego. This is a positive receiving from the universe. Then why the heartache? Maybe that's the problem is you chose financial over connection and romance and now you realize that's going to make me happy that's going to give me peace is choosing the people instead of the money does that right spirit did i see it correctly let's see yep that's it that's where all the love is focus on love and everything else is i mean gorgeous like really beautiful I mean, this is like daydreams, like stuff, stuff of dreams. This is a major life-changing energy. But you know what's crazy about it? The only thing that changed was your thought. Nothing else was required. It was simply your thought process surrounding what money does for you. That's it. All right. So anything else you want me to know, Spirit? Let's see. Okay, so that you had to make a decision surrounding your shadow work. Your shadow work being your demons or whatever, right? Okay, so let's move on to mind body makeover and pull you something regarding your shadow work. And remember there's a negative side and a positive side. So I'm going to read the negative first. That's the shadow work. And then the positive side is how you're correcting the situation or what you're doing with that now. Okay, all right. Um, if you like a personal reading, you can head over to ComfySoul.com. You can also find a link in the description below. And if you'd like to purchase the decks. All right, let's see here. Healthy goals. 
What's the negative? What is wrong with where you had your goals focused? Healthy goals negative. I don't have the ability to support myself in the world. So for whatever reason, whatever fear or egoic thought you had, you thought that you just didn't have enough. There wasn't enough money, there wasn't enough stuff, you don't know how to take care of yourself. Look, if you're alive, you have clothes on your back, a roof over your head, your temperature controlled even, fucking fabulous, like, you've got everything. If you have family and friends and those things, you literally have all the riches of the world. The happiest people in the world are the poorest. <laughs> so if you felt really poor, thank God for your family and your friends, right? Okay, what's the positive of this? Healthy goals. My ability to support myself in the outer world is a reflection of my mental, emotional, and spiritual consciousness. Notice how that was focused on your mind, your feelings, and how you show up and, and how you receive feedback from the universe. It's your perspective on what's happening around you. So if you felt like a victim or a martyr or poor me, everything happens to me, um, you had your goals focused on the wrong direction. This is about feelings and real groundedness, not external items that, you know, the earth can swallow up at any minute <laughs> through literally any means, tornado, tornado, earthquake, you know, hurricane, fire, whatever, whatever. Like, it don't mean shit. And then what? You're going to cry the rest of your life because you lost your bed and some sheets and your clothes and no like it's fine it's totally fine you'll get it all back don't worry about it uh what else healing fear so there is a fear here it's coming up the negative is i can't tolerate pain and unpleasant feelings so everything that manifested prior to this awesomeness that's coming through now is because you refuse to look at your feelings you refuse to be human don't deny your 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 empathy don't deny your your desire to serve and to help other people um it's not that you need money to help others you just need a big heart and a willingness to be selfless to 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 give time and energy and kindness to people um that's how god pays someone back in kindness when you're kind, God pays you back in support. That's how that works. Okay. Healing fear. Um, what's the negative? Could, can't tolerate unpleasant feelings. And the positive, with the help of a good coach, I can set goals and strive for success. This will lessen my pain and make me feel more in control. So it feels like there's something that you want to do, something you want to create that you're afraid to start. You think, I don't know where to start. I don't have support. I don't have money. Um, these are all mind things. It, there's a perspective switch. This is like you need a coach um, to hold your hand so that you can take action on the goals that you have set before you. So, um, hi, I'm Crystal. I'm a coach. <laughs> um, if you'd like to set up a session, use the reading link below and um, hit me up. If you want to know if I would be a good coach, like... Like, send me a message. Um, I think I have an email address down there for you. If not, you can go to my website, comfysoul.com, and find me on the contact. I'm also on Facebook um, and Instagram. You can uh, check on me there at Comfy Soul. But send me a message. Tell me you saw this reading. And say, um, I think I might need a coach. I like what you're talking about. I like your energy. I think we'd vibe. Can I have a free 15-minute call with you so I know if we're a good fit? So we can discuss what my goal might be and what I would be getting from working with you. So, And then we'll know if it's a fit. Then we'll do that. Okay? So uh, hit me up if that's something you'd like to do. Um... This will lessen my pain and make me feel more in control. So what I'm going to be able to help you with, I can hear already, is actually deal with the day-to-day, -day, the weekly stuff, so that you are able to process your feelings in a safe space where you wouldn't have ever looked at those feelings before. And that's what's holding you back, 
is the, the desire and the need to process yourself and feel safe. Um, you're afraid to be vulnerable and emotional. You just need to be okay to cry. You need to be okay to receive hugs and give hugs. You need to be okay with, um, you know, stuff like that. I'm hearing one more. Let's see. Uh, the song just changed. Aerosmith, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. It's from the Armageddon soundtrack. So I really feel like this is a life-changing Armageddon. I mean, literally, you probably think and feel like we're going through Armageddon right now with everything that's going on in the world. So this is having a new reason, a different way of looking at life, a new reason to live. Not just looking at shit and nitpicking at things and wanting to throw money at a problem. Um, it's this energy. I could stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch you smile while you're sleeping while you're far away and dreaming. I could spend my life in this sweet surrender. Just that energy of sitting back and looking at your partner on the couch and just smiling and thanking God that you've been through what you've been through or that they put up with you or, you know, um, memories, support, you know, compassion, uh, things that they've done for you. I'm here, I, Spirit just said bending over backwards. That's what I heard. Um, for some of you, that might be quite literally. <laughs> anyway, this is someone who's finally opening their eyes and saying, I, I get it. Like, it's been in front of me the whole time. Happiness is here. I just wasn't appreciating it. I took it for granted. That's what I'm hearing. I took it for granted. Um, healing sadness. What is the negative here? I feel empty and alone unless I'm with someone. See, so this is needing to have a partnership that is like, I was going to say perfect all the time, but it's not even that. You don't even, you'll even be angry with someone in the house and that's satisfactory to you because at least you're not alone. That's not healthy. What does this card say? Healing sadness. Let me read this again. I feel empty and alone unless I'm with someone. Okay, so I'm hearing... You cut yourself off when, when you're not wanting to deal with pain or feelings. You turn around and you walk away. I see you walking down a hallway, throwing your hands up. I'm not talking about it. I didn't hear you. You ignoring the problem all the time has left you sad and alone. When literally the whole world is fighting for your love and attention like especially this partner in particular so uh if you're holding yourself back from somebody i say please don't if you're afraid of getting hurt well they're still there they're still waiting for you um they're not gonna hurt you all right let's keep going healing sadness the positive side i love and honor both the times i am alone as well as the times i have loving support This is codependency. You don't know how to be happy unless you're with somebody. So when you're not with somebody, you feel like a freaking loser. But even when you're with somebody, you're emotionally detached. So you need to choose to be vulnerable and emotional and open in order to connect with that person. And then you won't feel alone and detached. And then you wouldn't try to replace people with money. That's what I'm hearing. Or the love that you could be giving them, you'd rather pay them than hug them. And they don't give a shit about your money. They care about your hug. They just want to hold you. Uh, they told me to go, go back to the psychic tarot and pull one card. So I'm going to do that. Let me do that. Um, I was going to be done, but they want me to round it off with something. Ooh, okay, that says it all right there. Awareness. You know, I just told you, in case you didn't know. So, jump into your spirit. This is really about detaching from the material world. I mean, think of like Buddhist teachings. This is really, uh, if I didn't own anything, could I still choose to be happy if I had the perfect people around me? It's like that. It's really knowing what's right. You can't take it with you when you die, but those souls, those souls go with you. Them you take lifetime after lifetime, but not that dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you being here. Thank you for your likes and subscribes. 
and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.